My son followed some dude on, on YouTube. He, he developed himself as, as a fan of that guy like, like crazy. And I thought, oh, that, that's an interesting space, I guess. And I did some researches. I, I met with the right people and I said, go. From the initial idea to, to having the, the team was a month. When I, when I have something in my head that I want to create, then I'm going for it all in and I'm doing it with all, my, with all my passion that I have. And I think just recently somebody said, yeah, you have the biggest FIFA eSports team in the world. I, I don't have the evidence if, if that's right, but it sounded good. I mean, generally, I didn't know what to expect when I explored eSports. For me, it was nothing before, obviously. I, I grew up playing FIFA. I was familiar with that, but not what's really happening in the, in the pro scene. I started it without any expectations. I just wanted to see how it develops. Um, we have an amazing team, amazing characters, more advanced players already, but also a lot of academy players that have great potential. My initial brief was, I want to be international. I want to cover the world. Uh, with my Nofus Given Esports brand. So we have players in Singapore, LA, Denmark. Most of them, like 90% of the players, are, are from the UK. But they're well spread out, so that was my initial goal. But then I'm not only going for the big names, but I want to develop younger, upcoming stars. So that was my second input is, okay, there are so many players out there already that have a big name, but I want to develop the next generation. You have Sean Elm, who's a great attacking player. Um, obviously had success in the past. And him paired up with Maul Butcher, who both are very confident. They're, I can tell by, by when I see them in the chat or when, when we talk to each other that they are, that they are really on fire. No. Oh, oh my God, God, that's what I want to see tomorrow. <laughs> exactly that. As in football, now we have female referees. I, th I think it's just a natural progress that there will more and more female gamers, uh, more and more female gamers will emerge and, and hopefully will be competitive. That was one of my next objectives, to not only have guys, but also to have girls on board. Where my input come, comes is how to deal with pressure situations. Uh, I've, I've seen that now. I mean, when, I, when I'm watching my players on Twitch on any of those championships, then I'm probably more nervous than anybody else, so I, I never thought that I would watch Twitch for eight hours on a weekend, every day. You know, then it's also how do they grow their personalities, how do they grow their social media following, how, how should they act on social media, which is a big part. I mean, it's very important to me, knowing from my own world, that their behavior on social media and what you can do and what are the don'ts. Well, currently I'm focusing on the season that's up right now. Uh, that's the most important one for me. We have some plans uh, which go beyond this season, obviously. We, we are trying after the season to assess how we did. It's, it's going in a good direction. It's something that I'm very much looking forward to.